Whether you're petting a precious pooch or giving cute puppers well-deserved cuddles, all canines are inherently good boys. That same mutt-loving logic also applies to gaming versions of man's best friend. Recently, titles like Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus have used dogs to hammer home key story themes, and there's no doubt the last few years in PC gaming have thrown up a variety of wonderful woofers, all of which deserve the bounciest balls and most succulent bones. Virtual doggos have been serving us loyally since the mid-80s, but one of the most prominent early examples of a PC pooch came with 1993's Mega Man 3 The Robots Are Revolting. It was here that everyone's favourite oh-so-iconic Power Rangers wannabe was joined by Rush, a metallic mutt who assists Mega Man's granite-hard platforming adventures by transforming into an impromptu trampoline, or better yet, badass barking jet. In this video, we'll chart the history of dogs through the last three decades of PC gaming, from sneaky half-wolf sidekicks, undead Doberman, to rambunctious Rottweilers who love to pile virtual poop on their owners' patios. Here is a history of dogs in games. Two years after Mega Man 3, Earthworm Jim would slither onto PC, offering up a level that's of particular interest to digital dog lovers. For Pete's sake is an early example of a gaming escort mission, briefly partnering our intergalactic invertebrate with the eponymous skipping Pooch. The trouble is, Pete's only a good boy provided Jim doesn't let harm befall him. If the heroic soil muncher's dog sitting skills aren't up to scratch and Pete takes any damage at all, the purple pup will instantly hulk into a space beast so savage he makes Cujo look like Pluto. Unfortunately, this dog walk down memory lane only gets more feral the following year. In 1996, Resident Evil not only transformed games forever with its iconic brand of creaky door-opening survival horror, it also unleashed a pack of undead hounds that still haunt our nightmares 21 years later. After chasing Jill Valentine, Chris Redfield and the rest of their star's chums into the spine-chilling Spencer Mansion, these T-virus-infected strays star in one of gaming's all-time great jump scares. While walking down a corridor with a worryingly large window, your zombie-offing agent is attacked by one of these decomposing Dobermen, the pooch pouncing through the pain in a glass-shattering moment of terror. Cutely, the Resident Evil remake, which originally launched in the early noughties but only found a home on PC as recently as 2015, subtly tweaked the window smashing scares. Rather than being set upon by a hideous hound the first time you walk through the mansion's infamous first floor corridor, you're instead greeted by a slight crack of glass where once there was an undead doggo panic. As gotcha moments go, they don't come more nerve shredding than this remaster's rug pulling pooch surprise, especially when, five minutes later, the mutts promptly crash through those same windows on your return journey through gaming's most panicky hall. Bad boy. Just for that, you only get a light nibble of Chris's jugular. Fast forward to Resident Evil 4 and Leon's heroic husky compadre also deserves credit. Choose to do the decent, aka non-sociopathic thing and release this majestic creature when you first encounter it during Resi 4's opening moments and the beast will eventually come to your troll-troubling aid when you fight El Gigante. <laughs> Skipping ahead to 2002, another horror classic thankfully forgoes the zombie mongrels in favour of bringing gaming's cutest Shiba Inu to the screen. Not only is Silent Hill 2 a masterpiece of drip-fed dread and psychological chills, it also has a masterfully silly secret ending. If players manage to obtain the game's dog key, then travel to the Lakeview Hotel's observation room, they're greeted by a scene that's half secret life of pets, half sliver. Upon stumbling into a secret surveillance den, James Sunderland is forced to confront a terrible truth. The murderous machinations of the previous few days were carried out by a tiny Japanese dog operating a complicated computer panel. Mira, even though you forced us to face demon butchers with Toblerones for heads, we'll forgive you because you're a very clever girl. That same year, another decidedly good doggo would kickstart a franchise that was intent on causing grievous bodily harm to virtual genitalia everywhere. The original Dead to Right and its subsequent samey sequels may ostensibly be about a cop trying to fight citywide corruption, usually by shooting it in the face in slow motion, but really they're about one thing. 
a video game Malamute finding any excuse to rip out a criminal scrotum with its trademark testicles. When Shadow isn't being a very literal ball-busting crime fighter, he enjoys doing all the mundane activities normal doggies enjoy, as you'll see in this animation showreel from 2010's Dead to Rights Retribution. Sipping water, sitting down, scratching his dignified furry face, um, brutally ripping out Eman's larynx. And they say you can't teach an old dog new trachea tearing tricks. <laughs> 2004's finest first-person shooter would bring a rather different definition to dog. Good doggy! What do you mean a fought and unflinchingly faithful robotic pet doesn't count as a real pooch? Half-Life 2's dog is totally man's, nay, all humankind's best pal. Valve's mighty AI companion character was inspired by Robbie the Robot from the seminal 1956 sci-fi classic Forbidden Planet. Though Dog lacks the dry wit of his silver screen counterpart, he more than makes up for it in the combine crushing department. He may not be a regular pet, but Dog has far mightier skills than any garden variety canid. Sure, a boring old Labrador can bring you the Sunday paper, but can it teach you the finer details of gravity gun use during a massive game of crate flinging fetch? Your pug may have the most squeezable cheeks, but frankly, we take Dog's brand of APC wrecking, strider bashing, elevator pulverizing loyalty over boring old canine cuteness any day. Aren't you a good boy for tearing that combine synth to pieces? Yes, you are, dog. Truly, 2004 was a robo mutts nuts for video game doggy fans. Four years later, and the definition of gaming dogginess was a little more pedestrian, if a tad irradiated. Next to Gordon Freeman's bionic BFF, Fallout 3's dog meat is a bit of a letdown. Sure, it's nice your sole survivor gets a buddy to take out on those apocalyptic walkies, but did Bethesda's critter really have to be so depressingly mangy? Thankfully, things got a whole lot more handsome in the doggo department for the sequel. 2015's Fallout 4 wisely recast Dogmeat as a gorgeous German Shepherd. To our knowledge, this awesome Alsatian is surely the only video game dog you can load up with items as you use him as a furry vault on legs. And that's not his only trick. Fighting giant bugs, stealing balls, doing tricks, pulling off the kick-ass begoggled look. If real-world dogs evolved at the rate of the Fallout games, we'd have a Labradoodle in the White House by 2024. Away from Fallout's nuclear-tainted pets, 2013's Brothers A Tale of Two Sons showed dogs can occasionally be bigger jerks than any A-bomb-wielding supervillain or 300-foot boss. After all, when was the last time you can remember a Call of Duty antagonist trying to maul a couple of adolescents? Way to besmirch the proud name of English bulldogs everywhere, brothers. <coughs> Don't despair though, dog lovers. Happily, our virtual tail-wagging chums were much better behaved the following year. In fact, 2014's Call of Duty Ghosts may have given us the best of all the boys. Cod Dog, or Riley to his friends, showed just how far video game dogs have come since the early 90s. Both a fearless companion to the Walker Brothers and a tank-riding furry force in his own right, this German Shepherd would win crufts at a canter. Well, providing the judges tweak the best in show category to recognise a poop his KT ratio. Whether bravely saving his masters from wolves, spying on terrorists from patches of long grass, or taking out evildoers in salivating slow-mo, Riley is a fabulous four-legged friend. Such dog diligence is hardly surprising. After all, developer Infinity Ward mo-capped the movements of a bona fide Navy SEAL trained canine to bring Cod Dog to such brilliantly believable life. Although we doubt the military would approve of Riley's GPU crippling dynamic fur, 2014 certainly was a pedigree year for make-believe mutts. When Grand Theft Auto V finally hit PC in April 2015 a year later, the standard of PC pups was sky high. This being Rockstar of course, GTA V's chop would soon poop all over the competition. Literally. Shortly after Franklin adopts this robust Rottweiler, the game reminds you that looking after a dog is no easy task. 
Not only do you have to train chop through a separate mobile phone app, but this sizable canid needs to be taken on regular walks to keep his happiness bar up. Well, car rides. Get on in here, come on! Hey, this is Los Santos. GTA being GTA, it's hardly surprising Rockstar doesn't care if you have to inadvertently murder folk to keep Pooch's said spirits high. Chop isn't the only dog Franklin encounters in GTA 5 though. Seek out the Strangers and Freaks mission risk assessment and the repo man will bump into a very peculiar golden retriever on a countryside path among the Vinewood Hills. Despite the fact they're entirely different species and only one of them has a power of speech, Franklin and the handsome pupper quickly strike up an almost paranormal accord. Who'd have thought dogs had such deep and meaningful thoughts regarding the human constructs of morality? But morality is a human construct and you're not hardwired to think that way? A few months removed from Los Santos' most pampered pooch, and things take a more depressing turn. Like the last couple of Fallout games, 2015's Mad Max brings proceedings to a glum, ball-fetching full stop. Cue a really arid apocalypse. Yet, while the thoroughly scabby Dinky D may be a doomsday doggo, there's no doubting this Australian cattle dog is a bloody good barker. In fact, his woofing abilities are so refined, the super sad dog can sniff out enemy landmines from hundreds of feet away. Good, vaguely nuclear poisoned dog. <laughs> Though it may be hard to believe, looking at that last footage, Mad Max actually launched on the same September day in 2015 as Metal Gear Solid V. Still, there's no denying Hideo Kojima's final stealth opus leaves the Outback Assassin for doggo dust. Say hello to Diamond Dog, the most useful virtual hound that's ever appeared in a game. Compare D-Dog to digital doggies from 20 years ago and there's no comparison, so we should stop trying to make one. Initially appearing as an adorable one-eyed pup whose snake greets with his very own circle of life welcome, this binocular-eyed predator soon grows up to become an invaluable stealthy sidekick. Once he reaches maturity, DD can mark enemies from hundreds of yards away, slit bad guys' throats with ease, and bark on command to distract Snake's foes. Originally, Didi was going to be a Rhodesian Ridgeback, but Kojima and co eventually saw sense, recasting the reliable buddy character as a husky hybrid. Put the legwork in with his Alaskan ally and you'll unlock an outfit that makes Snake's snarling sidekick look like a fox, and a fabulous one at that. <coughs> More recently, this year's Inside has taught us the theory that all dogs go to heaven is a dirty, great fib. If the eviscerating behaviour of the pooches from Play Dead's dark platformer is worthy of passing through the pearly gates, we'll take our chances with the doggy devil. <laughs> As for the recent Nazi annihilating shooter that inspired this video, let's just say dog owning PC players should probably sit through Wolfenstein 2's prologue with their eyes closed. Thought the ending of Old Yellow was sad, the opening flashback in New Colossus makes a legendary canine tearjerker look jollier than the Care Bears movie. <laughs> To summarise, dogs are great, unless they occasionally pop up as Lampo's loving video game themes. Regardless, whether loyal or lethal, hopefully every one of the gaming flea bags you've just watched has given you a newfound appreciation for digital doggos everywhere. In the meantime, let us know in the comments if you can think of any other great gaming hounds who deserve recognition, plus a delicious doggy treat, and please subscribe to Logitech G for more weekly shows. Thanks for watching.